guys, Joanna coming in, got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges, and we are on the settlement of Babylon today. The town center for Babylon is way up in here, but uh, it does not look like this is going to be any sort of a, t of a uh, town center defense. There's not going to be any fighting going on up over here. So very, very good to see that. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you very much for coming by yet again. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, what do we got going on over here? We got some Cav. Okay, we got to stop it. We got to stop it because I always love seeing Cav. Always love seeing Cav. What do we have over here? Thorax and an Evocate. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look at the armies. First, we will look at the, the attackers. We do have an Athens here being commanded. Larry's or Larry's, I think. Larry's, Larry's. And he has five units of Thorax Swordsmen, four light hoplites. Don't see them very often. Two units of Pikemen General is a picked hoplite. He also has two Cretan Archers, two Rodian Slingers, and a mobile ballista right there in the center of his formation. Then we have the Seleucid here. Seleucid being commanded by Mo. And he has six units of Thorax Swordsmen, two Hillmen, two Threo Spears. General is a shield bearer. He also has four units of the Syrian Archers, one Scorpion. And he brought a unit of the Indian Armored Elephants right there. And then we have a Rome. Rome being commanded by Inferno 332P. And he has five units of Evocate Cohort, four Legionnaire Cohort, two Soki Extraordinare, or Soki, Soki Sashi? Soshi? Soshi Extraordinary? I don't know how to say it. Uh, General is a Legatus. He also has two units of Syrian Archers, only two Syrian Archers. And he did bring a Soki or Sakshi Utes Extraordinare. Yeah. So there's the attackers. Getting in onto the defenders first, we will look at Artaverni being commanded by Malme. If you guys don't know who he is, he is a Twitch Total uh, War guy. He does a lot of Total War streams. He plays Chivalry 2. Really, really cool, laid-back guy. So definitely I will have the link for his Twitch in the description below and also put his Discord link in the description below as well. But all right, Malme here being commanded is commanding Artaverni. And he has five units of Celtic Warriors, five Chosen Swordsmen, two Osworn, one of those being the General, four Gallic Hunters, and he did bring a heavy horse. Then we have a bit of Sparta. Sparta here, Sparta there, Sparta everywhere. Uh, Sparta being commanded by Mighty French Fry, and he has four units of Spartan Hoplites, three Royal Spartans, one of those being the General, two Heroes of Sparta, three Cretan Archers, and one Helot Archer. And then we have this, a Horde faction. We have Royal Scythia being commanded by E.E., -E. And he's actually on both sides. He's got a bunch of units on that side. He's got more units on that far side over there on the eastern side of the settlement. But, all right, starting out over here, we will take a look at Royal Scythia being commanded by EE, -E, like I said. And he has seven units of the Step Noble Lancers, three Scythian Royal Horse, one of those being the General, and four units of the Amazonian Riders. So there you go. Army comps out of the way. We got some pretty beefy, yeah, uh, very heavy shock cav over here. Very heavy melee cavalry over here as well. A couple units of... Uh, ranged, a couple units of the um, the uh, Amazonian Light Missile Cav. Back over on the other side, you can see the rest of his army there. But all right, guys, there you go. Army comps out of the way. He's actually got stuff here, too. Oh, he came out of this gate. I didn't even see those guys. Okay, so Step Noble Lancers, yeah. Uh-oh, that's going to be bad. That is probably not going to work out very well for this. Uh, yeah, they, they've, they're they running. They're already turned around trying to run away. All right, well, let's get ready for the beginning of the battle. It is a bit of a shorter one, so it's probably going to be very, very brutal. We will get into it now, though. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Please make sure to hit the like button, drop some comments, and enjoy the ride. All right, so all of this cavalry is coming out over on this side. We're going to catch these guys. Are they going to charge? Are they going to charge this uh, Legionnaire cohort? Probably not. Oh, no, they are. They're going for it. Oh, they got in before the peeler. Yeah, they did. And the second unit. Actually, no, they did not. They lost. Wow, 11. 11. But the second unit coming in with a big charge in onto that Legionnaire cohort. Starting to drop quite considerably now. Let's see what these guys are doing. They still kind of just... Oh, no, we've kind of actually going back across the bridge. I think this Thorax Swordsman's in trouble, though. I think this Thorax Swordsman's in a lot of trouble. Yep. Big charge in there. Now, that was the general unit that charged in. And again, it is very heavy melee. So it might not be a bad idea to leave him in there for just a little while. Uh, they do have the Archer Tower firing away there as well. General, four kills. Looks like he's going to pull away. Let's see how these two are looking. He's only got seven kills down on, uh, five men. Yeah, down five men out of that unit there. Oh, just lost some more. Oh, they just lost a lot more. 
Ooh, Ilavali from the Legionnaire Cohort. Wow. Very nicely done. This unit here down to 67. We got the artillery shot. Ooh, close. Very, very close there hitting, to that, to hitting that Roman unit. And it's Sparta trying to fire away. Let's see how these guys are looking. Oh, looks like the second unit or another unit of Stepnoble Lancers have come over here to join this fight against the Thorax Swordsman. Very heavy shot cavalry. Don't want to leave them in there for very long. Don't want to leave them in there for very, very long. We have some of the Amazonian Riders. Looks like maybe they're going to get involved as well. No? Are we going to shoot with them? What are we doing? Oh, they're firing. Okay, they're firing in here into this Thorax Swordsman unit. They are getting hit very, very hard. Going to chase down. Going to get another peeler. Do they have javelins? Are they not going to throw? They're in shield wall. No, nope, no peeler there. No javelins for that unit. Unfortunate. Very, very, very unfortunate. Let's get back over here. See how these guys are doing. Another Looks like they just suffered another massive charge, but they are winning. Winning the fight so, so far. Yeah, the Step Mobile Lancers. It's 33 and 15. Not getting a whole lot of kills at this point. Let's see what's going on over here, though. We do have more of the Royal Scythian army outside over on this side. Uh, some of the Thorax swords in there for Athens knocking down a wall section. Looks like the attackers are finally getting to the walls. Yeah, okay, so we do, we will start having some walls coming down. That is definitely a good sign for the attackers. Uh, this Thorax Swordsman over here getting charged yet again, but he is still kind of holding his own. He's got 26 kills down to 62. Stop. So there's another, okay, so there's the second unit. Okay, so they're out of here. Never mind. I take that back about them holding their own. They are absolutely not holding their own any longer. They are going to get out of here. The general, though, he only lost one man. Not bad. This unit down to 37, though, with only 35 kills. That is rough. Uh, we still have the Evocati Cohort over here. Looks like they're trying to chase. Are they Are they going after this? Uh, I think they are. I think they're going after this Amazonian Rider. That's the unit that came back across the bridge here. Royal Scythia making a way across the bridge again with another unit of the Amazonian Riders. Uh, cavalry for Rome sitting over here. We have the elephants that have moved up. Here comes Seleucid starting to make their way forward. We do have some fighting going on inside. Okay, here we go. Athenian Thorax Swordsman going to be taking on the Celtic Warriors here. Front line for Arverni. Going to try and hold this line as long as they possibly can. Like the Celtics are kind of getting pushed back a little bit, but they're doing a lot of damage. This is what, yeah, this first unit of Thorax 24 kills down to 83 men. Here we go. Chosen Swordsman now going to charge in. Great job. We got some Hillmen over here. Maybe we're going to get some Javelin Volleys, possibly. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh oh. Ooh, I just happened to see that. Step Noble Lancers only 33 kills down to 14 left in the unit. This Evocati cohort still taking shots. Yep, the Amazonian Riders doing some good damage. 75 and 57 for them. Not too bad, respectively. A lot of the cavalry still sitting over here for Royal Scythia. Not bringing them around just yet. Back over here, though. Oh, we had a Roman unit just got taken out. Legionnaire Cohort getting murdered. I'm going to guess the Amazonian Riders probably have some kills. 38, 26. Yes, they do. We have a Hillman unit that got run over. Looks like they got run over. Step Noble Lancers over here. 99 kills for them. They have lost three men. Looks like they were just starting to lose some men as they were getting out of the fight there with the Thorax Swordsman. So very well done so far with this unit. He's lost five men, 99 kills. Great job there. Let's see what's going on back over here. Does this unit get hit too? I don't know. Uh, maybe they did. They might have. They're getting shot by the Arrow Tower for sure though. Down to 114 men. This unit with 26 kills. So they actually obviously did get some kills as well. Uh, we got some farming going on right here by this Step Noble Lancer. Killing off the final bit of these Hillmen. So... He's probably going to have, well, yeah, he's got 128 kills right now. Uh, this is not something you want to do. Honestly, Athens, you definitely need to start moving forward. Because right now you're leaving your allies, kind of making them go 2v3. So Athens definitely, I mean, you could stay in this formation. Just grab the whole army, hold down uh, left alt, and just, whoop, just bring the army up. Right left alt and right click on, the, on, the, on one of the units in your army. And just bring the whole thing up in that box formation. You can move forward. Uh, the only thing that you'll have to worry about is maybe bringing the ballista up by itself. But there is Roman cavalry somewhere. Right? Is it still here? Yeah, there it is. Oh, it went over here. It's taking on the... Uh, 
Well, I mean, it is very heavy shock cavalry taking on very heavy shock cavalry, but now we have melee cavalry coming over here. That, oh, and the Draco just got hit as well. Oh, that is a big hit. Big hit. Zero charge bonus now for shock cavalry. Elephant's moving, though. Let's see. We got Rome moving up now here as well. That is good stuff to see. Definitely want to get inside the settlement. Frontline for Arverni still holding for the moment. Looks like he retreated back a unit of his Celtic warriors, but the Arver Ooh, Chosens, they, they broke a unit of the Athenian Thorax, but we have some Seleucid Thorax swordsmen have made their way inside the settlement now as well. Some Sokia Surinare, some Legionnaire cohort there fighting along again against the Arverni units. Not really anything else from the defenders up on the line just yet. We have not seen any of the Spartans have moved up to the front line just yet, but I would imagine maybe some of those hoplites will make their way forward once the uh, Arverni lines start breaking down a little bit. But so far, like I said, Arverni seems to be holding... Oh, wait. Oh, here comes Sparta. Okay. Here comes Sparta. Sparta has joined. Sparta's making their way over here. Ooh, this is... Uh-oh. This could be an opportunity here. Oh, never mind. There's infantry. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to say, maybe that Roman cavalry could get in here and come around and get a charge in on some of those helid archers, but does not look like that is going to be needed to be done at all uh, because we got the Celtic Warriors coming up. Here is the elephants, the Indian armored elephants out of control, still full, 24 out of 24. Two kills chasing away. They're actually getting into, uh-oh, Royal Scythia. Might want to watch out for your Amazonian riders. Those elephants like stomping on horses. And yet, Scythian uh, Amazonian riders taking some losses. Taking a couple of losses. He's got 12 more, I'm sorry, 14 more kills. So definitely want to keep an eye out on moving elephants, out of control elephants. But all right, here we go. Royal Scythia now coming around, getting into the back of the offensive lines, or the attacking lines, I should say. See, so far the front line still holding up. We have some... Evo Kadiko Ward over here taking on some Celtic Warriors. Archers right here. This Hellid Archer unit, honestly, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to just start firing into the flank of that Evo Kade. But we do a lot more archers coming in here now. We have the uh, Syrian archers now making their way in. Force and Loose, another unit of Evo Kade coming in. Front line still holding rather effectively for the defenders, I must say. So far doing pretty good against these Roman units. Thorax swordsmen of Seleucid have made their way in here again. Soki Extraordinare still holding, or still fighting, I should say, taking on some more of these Chosen Swordsmen. Chosen Swordsmen are holding the line dramatically. Absolutely fantastic job holding the line to this point. Um, oh, nothing attacked over here. Nothing attacked over here. Okay, so unfortunately they did make some breaches, but looks like everything got run over. Everything got killed off over here. 77, 150, and 150. Very well done with those two units, those three units of cavalry. Back over here, the horse archers, the Amazonian riders, 94 and 86. More cavalry over here. Are we actually going after something over on this side? Ooh, Ballista. Did the Ballista turn around? One of them did. Yep, Ballista turned around. He's firing at the uh, Amazonian riders here. Unfortunately, it looks like they just got kind of left out here. Now they're going to get shot. Syrian archers are going to shoot them. I don't blame them. Yeah, kill them. No, fire arrows. What are you doing with the fire arrows? No, no, no. You don't need fire arrows against... Against regular, regular cavalry? That's just going to take longer to fire. Just put on regular shot. Regular shot, bro. That's all you need to do. I mean, they're killing them. Okay, so they're, they're routed. They're out of here. Archer, get back in behind that line. <laughs> Step Noble Lancers coming over here. Going to get into the back of the light hoplites, looks like. Nope, they stopped. Okay, there we go. Now, oh, what was that? What hit them? Now we got the artillery fire in here. Is that the scorpion? It is the scorpion. The Seleucid scorpion has actually turned around, starting to fire at some of the Royal Scythian cavalry there. We have the elephants over here again, catching up. 89 kills. Wow. For a lot, going out of control pretty much. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid so far. Hopefully they will be able to get inside the settlement. Speaking of inside the settlement, let's get back in here yet again. Still, this Arverni front line has been doing work. 101 kills for that unit, 90, 94 kills for that unit. Another unit making their way forward, zero kills. Celtic Warriors there with 55. The Spartan units making their way forward just a little bit further. We have an Oathsworn have now made their way forward. 
A lot of death back here. Is that the archers? Was that the Seleucid archers, I wonder? Probably. 27, 56, uh, 23, and 96. So yeah, that was definitely them. Rome actually has a couple of units over on this side. It's got an Evocate cohort there. Two units of Evocate cohort. Triple bronze chevron, zero kills. 82 kills down to 134. Take aim! This would definitely be a tough fight to get yes, through, commander. especially with those Royal Spartans right there. Osborne General as well. Gallic Hunters, there they go. Gallic Hunters, great angle. Firing into the Evocati cohort, trying to get some kills there. Doesn't look like they're getting any just yet. Let's see. 88 and 77. That is not from this unit. Starting to drop a couple more, though. I think. Oh, uh, maybe not. No, maybe they killed like one or two. Big Volley just killed two of them. See, that's the difference right there. Firing in onto the shielded side of an infantry unit. Not going to get a whole lot of kills. Not going to get a whole lot, but now we have these Royal Spartans have charged in here. Oh, why are you pulling back? Why are you running away? Understood. I would have stayed in the fight. Yeah, get in there. Royal Spartans are definitely going to kill Evocati Cohort. All right, back over here. Let's see. Here comes Athens. Okay. Athens is finally starting to make his way forward. We had the rest of the Royal Scythian Cavalry go back inside the walls. Again, 78, 154, and 150. This cavalry over here, let's see what they're at. Oh, is the, uh, are the Amazonian riders all gone? I don't see them any longer. Yeah, I guess the Amazonian riders are all dead. Probably used a lot of their ammo, though. We'll see at the end. Uh, we do have the, uh, the Royal Scythian General. Wait a second. Where did he go? Did he charge in here? Looks like he did. I don't think that was a good idea to charge in there, though. He is losing. We I mean, got Legionnaire Cohort on one side, Borak Swordsman on the other side. Yeah, that Royal C that Scythian Royal General not looking very good at all. Wavering. Dead. He's got to be dead. Yeah, General's dead. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there with the Royal Scythian General. What his uh, purpose of charging into where all of that infantry was for the attackers. It was a little confusing. Back over here, though, look at that. We have an O-Sworn. How did he get, did he, oh, wait a second. How did that Osworn get in there? How did that Osworn get behind? Did they sneak past this? I, I don't know how they got there. That's a magic trick, though. Definitely a magic trick. Uh, the only other thing I could think of is maybe they came out and walked all the way around there. Maybe, but here comes that heavy horse now making their way. Yeah, still have the armored elephants right there, though. 132 kills for them. But they do see a lot. They got three units of the Syrian archers right here? Yes, they do. Royal Scythia could absolutely come out here and try and get them as well. But not a bad idea by the uh, defenders. Pushing the archers back at least. Looks like Royal Scythia. 33 kills. Trying to get in there. Trying to get into some of the archers. Looks like he maybe hit a little bit of that ballista crew. But it does not look like they're going to be around very much longer. At least for this unit. Down to 14 men. Fighting the archers. I mean, mercenary Cretans aren't terrible in melee. They're not terrible in melee. They can kind of win a little bit, but not a whole lot, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, uh, our Vernie's still trying to get around. He is still trying to get around. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God, he got around. But we got the Rayos. They got the Rayos. Yep, yep, nope. Oh, he's going after the general? Yep, he's going after the Roman general. At least he's going after something. He didn't just stop, but, yeah, that heavy horse is going to get destroyed. It was a good try, though. It was definitely an okay try, I would say that. He took a shot. He took a shot. I can't blame him. I cannot blame him for trying to get... I mean, he was really close to getting those Seleucid archers. But unfortunately, those Thoreo spears sitting right there. The Roman general, fine. Still 40 out of 40. Yeah, heavy horse down to 22. They are losing decisively right now. Elephants making their way over here. Here comes Royal Scythia again, though. Royal Scythia now getting into some more of these archers. Got the pick top light general standing right there. Don't know. Says it. Yeah, he is in combat. More of the Royal Scythian cavalry getting taken out. Let's see what these guys got. 141 for that unit. 141 for that unit. So actually, they didn't do terrible. Oh, no. This one's only got 45. Never mind. Never mind. He's still got another unit of the Scythian royal horse over here. Starting to take shots, though. Guys, I don't know. This balance of power, it's come back a little bit in favor of the defenders. But it's still in favor of the attackers. 
And with Seleucid still having these elephants over here, I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of elephants right there. I probably, honestly, I'd say bring the elephants inside. Get the rest of this infantry up here, defend the uh, defend the range units and everything, and get the elephants inside. But look at that, Royal Scythia breaking through, kind of pulling through some thorax swordsmen there. Maybe pulled a little bit through some uh, some of the light hoplites, but yeah, it looks like that uh, Scythian Royal Horde. Oh, big though. Big, big, big. Got that last Draco off onto a lot of infantry there. We got some elephants dropping. We got one elephant that just dropped. Down to 16 out of 24. They were at 18. Might not be a bad idea. Stop firing. Stop firing your archers at this cavalry. There's more than enough around here. More than enough. Maybe shoot at this one. This one's got 63. Oh, Scorpion. Yep, they got into the Scorpion. Still 30 out of 40 in the unit, so they definitely still have enough to uh, use the Scorpion. Indian Armored Elephant still doing work. 178 kills. Get closer and closer to 200 kills. Royal Scythia looks like he's just about out. He's got a couple more units here. Two units of the uh, Step Noble Lancer and a Scythian Royal Horse. But that is going to be his final two units right there. We have a Pick Top Light General making their way out. Going to try and slow up this Step Noble Lancer, which they did. For sure slowed them up. Let's get back inside the settlement. Yeah, the defenders actually held very, very valiantly here. Brutal hold here. I mean, Egypt, not Egypt. Athens still had some infantry back here. We still have some Thorax Swordsmen, still Thoreo Spears there for Seleucid. Uh, still a lot of, actually, still have the Pikemen too. Pikemen might be able to do something. If they can get inside there, maybe they could do something. The Elephant's still rumbling around, still 16 out of 24. So they are still there as well. Back over on this side, though, not looking good for Seleucid. Yeah, he just got surrounded. Got some Royal Spartans getting into the back of these Thorax, along with the Osworn. 232 kills for the Osworn. Royal Spartans holding the line, 102 kills for that unit. Great job so far by the defenders. Balance of power, like I said, back at the beginning or near the beginning, balance of power was definitely not in favor of the defenders, but they have definitely scratched and clawed their way back into the fight. Uh, Royal Scythia, I would say Royal Scythia for the most part did pretty okay. I mean, the last couple of units here, 154, 156, so they've gotten a decent amount of kills. Elephant's still around, though. That is a problem. Scorpion's still there for Seleucid as well. Yeah, he definitely he still has control of the Scorpion. We still have a lot of range units here. Let's see, 26... 23, uh, 56, 39, 28, I mean, 31, 6, 3. There's a lot of ammo still here. 32, there is a lot of ammunition still here for the attackers. Not a whole lot of infantry, though. Not a whole lot of infantry. Here we go, Royal Cynthia, Step Noble Lancers, charging in onto a unit of Syrian archers that came off onto the side. Not really sure why they came out there, but this Royal Cynthia, oh, God. This Noble Lancer, is he going to try and get through there? He can't. Oh, Javelins! Brutal. Dureo Spears again taking out the Step Noble Lancers. And that right there, final unit for Royal Scythia. It is a Scythian Royal Horse. Has 154 kills. Down to 34 men, and they are getting pincushioned now as well. Still have Dureo Spears over here. Pikeman now pulling away from the... Uh, from the walls, but I mean, they're still not all oh, wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, no. Stithian Royal Horse got just got murdered. Completely murdered. Down to 16 left in the unit. Looks like he's going to try and get them back inside the settlement at least. Maybe try and hold on to them for a little while. Now, the amount of range that's here still. What is this? Why are you so close to the wall? Get back up, bud. Back it up. 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 I know they're Rodian Slingers. But they can fire through breaches. If there is a breach, they can get right here and fire there. They can get right here and fire there. They can fire through here. So, I mean, there's there's opportunities for Rodian Slingers. Slingers, obviously, on attack. Not the most um, versatile, I guess, for them, at least initially, unless you can get them inside the settlement or up onto the walls there. Uh, but, yeah, that's the Slingers. That's the only thing for Slingers. They can't arc their shots, obviously, like archers can archers can arc it's kind of in the name of the unit but all right oh archer fire coming in getting into these chosen swordsmen down to 109 left in that unit oh sworn here 109 as well 317 though for that unit great job really solid job there uh city and royal horse actually decided to come over here what are we firing at we're not throwing at that ballista crew are we we just had a draco hit yeah yes we did another draco hit Wow. And here they come. They're coming out. 
So the Enroll Horse charging into Thoreo Spears. Not a unit you really want to charge into, especially his cavalry. But maybe he was just going for that last little bit, trying to get what he can get. 158 kills for them. Square formation. There they go. They are wavering again. Oh, that's where it is. Yep. These Thorax throwing their javelins up on the wall into that Bastion Ballista for Royal Scythia. 131 kills for them. Sparta with 63. Where's the Arverni artillery? Did he not? Oh, he did. It's back there. Zero kills. No shots for him. Probably not even going to need to fire. But this could be a problem. This really could start being a problem. There's a lot of range here. And like I said, Seleucid still has some infantry, still has these elephants. 16 out of 24, they are fresh and ready to go. 191 kills. The Shieldbearer Generals still have a picked Hoplite General. More Thorax sitting out here. We still, like I said, we had the Pikemen, at least one, one unit of Pikes left. There's one there. Up oh, there's the other unit right there, starting to make their way forward. Got some light hoplites making their way through. Going to get into these Chosen Swordsmen. Chosen Swordsmen getting littered. Getting bombed on. Chosen Swords. I'm sorry, Celtic Warriors getting bombed on as well. Chosen Swords down to 61 men. Light hoplites in there. 101 for them. I mean, this is not over. Balance of power is definitely in favor of the defenders now. But it's still not over. Pikemen. Yeah, that, that's why I don't like pikes right there. That is why I don't like pikes, because they do that. Like, they should have walked in, but sometimes if you click on them, if they're in pike formation, you click on them to attack. For some reason, they run anyway, and then you have to, you know, click the button for them to stop running, and it, it, can, be, it can be annoying. It can definitely be very, very, very annoying. Right, let's move it back out of that fight. Looks like that pikeman got wrecked. I think they did. That's light hoplites. Got another pikeman right there. He is through the line, but he's doing some weird thing. Doing some weird thing. Where's the other pike? Is he dead? I'm guessing he is. I don't see the banner any longer. I do see Rodian Slingers running for their lives, though, trying to get out of the settlement. Bounce powers definitely in favor of the defenders. I mean, there still has this ace, though, right here, though. Seleucid so still has an ace right there. If he can get in there and maybe start causing some problems, starting to cause some big-time breakdowns and unit routing, you never know. You really, really, really never know. Thorax Swordsman, full unit, pretty much full unit Thorax Swordsman getting in there, getting into this unit of Spartan Hoplites. We have another unit of Spartan Hoplites right there. They could easily start pressing into that Thorax, but we have Archers again here. Gallic Hunters firing away, 96 kills, 65 kills. Uh, this unit of the Spartan Hoplites down to 105 with 91 kills. Not too bad, but oh, this is breaking down. Yeah, it is. Definitely breaking down. Is that Helot Archers here? Yes, it is. 55 kills with the Helot Archers. Doing a lot of damage getting that Thorax Swordsman over Seleucid out of here. Still 47 in the unit, but they're probably not going to come back. Probably not going to come back. Now, look at this range core right here. Look at these Archers. Syrians, Syrians. Syrian, Syrian, Syrian. Five units of Syrian heavy archers right there. Let's see, 44, 70, 32, 30, I'm sorry. Yeah, one, oh, sorry, 161 and 66. Decent amount of ammo still there. Decent amount of ammo still there. We got the Thoreo Spears. Looks like they're still holding on, getting ready maybe to make their way forward. Archers now just charging in or getting closer to the wall. What is this? These are archers charging in? A Rodian. Oh, it's Rodians. I guess he just doesn't care. I guess he doesn't care about the Rodian Slingers. He's just going to throw them into melee. This Cretan's there. 65 kills. Yeah, it looks like Athens is just going to try and just double his uh, double his money, get inside. Pick top light general, unfortunately, getting mauled right now, though. 94 men left in the unit. 73 kills. Balance of power is definitely in favor of the defenders now for sure. We have these Seleucid Indian armored elephants. Getting through the breach now. Going to start getting into these Chosen Swordsmen. Just hitting that trample and the uh, battle rhythm. And here we go. Let's see. He's got 202 kills. Trying to break through these heroes of Sparta. They did get in top light wall. Oh, the elephants are starting to drop. Oh, no, they're dropping very quickly. Very, very quickly. They are out of control. They're getting into the back of the rest of the uh, Spartans over here. Maybe, made it, maybe got a little bit of a clip on the Osworn General there as well. But the elephants... Yeah, they are gone. Elephants are done. Three minutes left in this battle replay, guys. I'm gonna say this one is over, uh, but we are gonna just fast forward. We're not gonna we're not gonna cut it out because you guys have told me many times you do not like when I cut battles because there are still cool things that happen 
So uh, we're just going to kind of hang out here. Maybe take a look and see the amount of bodies that are dead. Yeah, we definitely have a lot of bodies inside the settlement here, right here. A ton of bodies. Really, 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 really big pile of bodies right there. Uh, I mean, we still have a decent... We have a lot of bodies outside as well. Cavalry did an okay job over here. I'm kind of really interested to see how well Royal Scythia did. If I'm... If I... You know, just to be honest, I'm kind of interested to see how well he did. Um... Because it didn't look like a lot of the units were over 100 kills, but there were some units that were over 100 kills. So it's kind of, kind of, kind of, interest is peaked. Interest is peaked. Yeah, so we got archers taking on like Osworn and Chosen Swordsmen and Royal Spartans and everything. It's just not working out for the archers anymore. Not working out for those archers. They're getting murdered. Pushed back out of the settlement. Archer fire still pouring in here again. Ellen archers firing away. 69. Oh, sorry. That's a Cretan archer. 69 kills for them. Very, very nice. But yeah, the rest of everybody else is just breaking down. We have the shield bearer general inside the settlement currently taking on some Spartan hoplites. Uh, he's actually taking on an Osborne general as well. Oof. Tough fight. That's a tough fight for anybody. Spartan Hoplites being able to hold you in the line and then Osworn coming in getting those kills. We got archers firing here as well. Tough fight. Really, really tough fight. The defenders did a great job. Defenders really did a great job holding the line, holding the wall. Royal Scythia, I mean, he did his job. He did what he was supposed to do. He clipped out some units, got into some of the range units a little bit here and there. Uh, but the majority of what Royal Scythia seemed to have done was kind of just be a big distraction outside. Costly victory low. Let's take a look here. Uh, we will start off by looking at Mighty French Fry playing as Sparta. 1,389 kills for him. He was the one that sent the replay over. Thank you very much for sending it in. Zero kills for his general. Didn't even need to get involved. Uh, two of his, I'm sorry, two of his, yeah, two of his Cretans here, 209 and 108, great job there. Getting into some of his Royal Spartans, 203, 208, Spartan Hoplites, 114, 232, and 182, great job. Heroes of Sparta didn't even really need to do very much. Then we have Malame again, Total War Twitch guy. He also does have a YouTube channel, but I think he does the majority of his stuff is over on Twitch. Actually, you know what? I'll just put all three of his links in there. I'll put his Twitch, his YouTube, and his Discord link, uh, links in the description below you guys can feel free go on over there subscribe to him so i'll follow him and join the discord but malame here 2136 kills most kills in the game great job 173 with his general gallic hunters 112 102 69 giggity 79 i guess we'll throw that in there as well uh his celtic warriors didn't do very well he's got one unit there with 86 but getting into his bigger boys chosen swords with 131 247 199 110 258 and that other was one 487 kills wow almost 500 kills with an Osworn. Great job there. Getting in with Royal Scythia being commanded by EE1616. So, yeah, not as many kills as he probably hoped that he would get. I mean, he does have a couple units that got a decent amount of kills, though. Uh, General, 33 kills. Amazonian Riders here, 94, 103, 93, 96. So, they're actually the, the uh, Archer Corps didn't do terrible. They really didn't do, the, didn't do that bad. All relatively close to, if not a little bit over 100 kills. Uh, Royals, I'm sorry, Scythian Royal Horse, 158, 268. 141, 141. Oh, those are Step Noble Lancers. Sorry. Step Noble Lancers, 141, 141, 175, 186. So, I mean, a lot of the units over 100 kills just did not get as many kills as he probably wanted to. 16, 16 with the total, though. Getting into the attackers, we have Mo being commanding of the Seleucid Army, 1365, 36 with his general elephants there with 269. Scorpion, actually, 93 kills. Not bad. Syrian archers, 200, 173. Uh, getting into his thorax, not a whole lot of kills on the thorax. Let's see, with top unit of thorax, 75, yeah, 75 and 65. Then he's Thoreos, 44 and 34. Then we have Larry's here, or Larry's, Larry's, I'm not sure. Commanding Athens, his general, 103 kills, Ballista, 58. Archers did not get a whole lot, 69 for the top unit there, 7 for the Rhodian Slingers. Uh, light Hoplites, again, I'm just not a bit, I don't really see Light Hoplites very often. Top unit there was 72. His pikes got destroyed, unfortunately. 31 was the top kill there. And then getting into his thorax, top unit was a 59. And then we have Inferno 332P playing with Rome. 11 kills on his general. 
Uh, Ivakati cohort, 147, 95. Getting into his Legionnaire cohort, not a whole lot. Top unit there was at 59. And he's just two units of Soki Extraordinary, one unit there with 92. But all right, guys, there you go. End of today's battle replay. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Again, make sure to check out Malme. Definitely a really cool guy. I have watched a lot of his streams on Twitch. Really laid back, really funny, really awesome guy. So definitely go on over there and show him some support. Uh, but that is going to be the end here for today. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe on the video. Well, yeah, like, comment, and share the video. Then subscribe to the channel. Over 11,000 subscribers hit. Thank you very, very much, guys, for the continued support. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one. Hey, guys. I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.